I am live. I'm early. Am I five minutes early? Oh, three minutes early. It's not really early, is it? Right, let's just set up. Is that a good? Can you see me okay? Let me just set up my computer. It is warm. Oof. Anyone else muggy? Oh my goodness. It's warm. I've got the window open which is right behind my phone. So I'm really like, I'm hoping it doesn't blow out the window. That could be a fun <laughs> live stream, couldn't it? My phone just goes, ah, out the window. Let's hope that doesn't happen. That wouldn't be very good. I mean, it would be funny. Oh, there's so many of you already. Hello. I will say hello to you all in one second. Let me just set up. So I can see all of your comments. Okay, we are cooking on gas. Here we go. Um, hi, Chloe. Hi, Kay. Tamsin. Caroline. Uh, Debbie. Marina. Hi, Eve. How is it in where you are now? Are you still on lockdown or are you kind of being released now a little bit? Um, Miss Fitz. Uh, Jude, Kate, oh, hello, James, you okay? Jane, hi from Sunny Margate. Uh, just knitting washcloth, washcloth for faces. Christy, Shaleen, I hope I said that right. Uh, Bows and Bridges, Victoria, there's loads of you tonight. Um, Rachel, Natalie, Liv. Is this like a good time to do a live? Because I, I think this is the first time that I've done a live at eight o'clock. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I, I feel, oh, <laughs> my blinds just went, oh. Um, yeah, I feel like I've done lives early in the morning, at like 10 o'clock or something. And then I've done them about six, but I don't feel like I've done them at this time. Maybe this is a good time. Okay, so how are we all doing on your Sunday evening? Um, to be honest, I thought we'd do a live at this time. I didn't get around to doing one this morning. As you can tell, the Sunday live streams in the morning have kind of gone a bit off kilter because, well, I'm having a lie in for a start and then we're going out. <laughs> and then by the time I get back, it's like, oh, I haven't done a live. So, um, yeah, they've been a bit few and far between haven't they but we're here tonight i've got my usual monthly favorites to do i've got all of my favorites laid out here um there's quite a few actually to get through quite a few um so without further ado let's let me just check oh i did say your name correctly that's good that's good um oh eve no we're out now as we're out of the city center our village was split in half but now the south is south is free of the lockdown. My family are still all stuck in East in Odeby. Oh, so it's half and half then. Oh. Okay. Uh, Debbie's just going to make a cup of tea. Would anyone like one? Yes, please. Uh, do you know what? I've I've bought squash upstairs because I'm roasting. It's muggy. It's really, really muggy. Is anybody else muggy where they are? Because I'm just like, whoo. Anyway, let's get cracking with July's favourites. So I think I'll start with my most favourite thing. I put it on my Instagram last night. I went searching for it today. And, um, oh, my auntie's online. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I went searching for it today at Home Bargains uh, and B&M and I couldn't find it. And I'm gutted. So it is this bath, the Imperial Leather Moonlit Skies um, and White Cashmere. It's so nice. I've look, I've nearly run out and I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. If you had smelly vision, this is just it's so nice. I don't even know what's in it. It just says, <laughs> it says, loosen up your body and wind down your mind under a tub full of moonlit skies for a truly calming experience. Well, oh, James says that bubble bath is life. It is. It so is. 
and I've, I've been looking for the shower gel in this as well. Uh, I don't think they did it, but somebody mentioned on my Instagram today that um, they do do this in a shower gel. I'm going to have to go on Amazon, aren't I? And see if I can get this, because this is literally the best. Try Pound Stretcher and Wilco's. I was in Wilco's the other, the other week. Couldn't see any. Not, not that I was actively looking, but I didn't... I don't recall seeing any. Anyway, that's my first favourite the imperial leather moonlit skies and white cashmere uh next favorite i think we're going to go down and do beauty stuff first because i've got got my list because i'm prepared um oh, somebody just said tesco okay well i got this from it was either b&m or home bargains i can't remember but i will look for it in supermarkets now because i just i need to stock up if you know chris if you're watching this downstairs i don't think he is he's watching Trojan no not Trojan Titan thing something with the rock on Netflix Titan the Titan warriors or something but you know on the off chance that you're watching this Chris I'll have like a pack of these a crate of these for my birthday that would be good um okay so yeah I've got a list of beauty stuff clothing um tv music right what's the next thing okay the next thing for beauty that I've been loving this month is my Charlotte Tilbury bronze and sculpt so it is a bronzer and a highlighter I was actually gifted this by Charlotte Tilbury I know <laughs> um and I love it this is my second one and I'm already looking like it's touching pan now I was using because I kind of went off it for a little while and then I started to use the collection one the bronze glow the collection and um, this is only like one ninety nine, something like that. Um, but this can be a bit much sometimes. So if you want like a lighter coverage, then this one is just really, it feels really nice on the skin as well. And I really like the highlighter as well. Have I mentioned this in a favourites before? I kind of feel like I have. But um, the highlighter on this is really good as well. I use the highlight. <laughs> I use the highlighter. I mean, my makeup is pretty much falling off my face right now. But I use it mainly for like the tip of my nose and a little bit up here. And um, yeah, love, love, love. So that's another one of my beauty favourites this month. Um, another favourite is a blush. If you watched my Boots haul and Get Ready With Me that I did a few weeks ago now, uh, you'll know that I used this um, blusher and I purchased it. This is Milani in the shade... Dolce Pink um, and yeah I've used it every day since I got it I really really like this it just looks really nice like the colour is just really nice if I could do a I don't think this is gonna work can you see that can you see that it's just a really nice a really nice colour it's got a really nice sheen to it as well like I say I did have it on today but like makeup is just like slid down my face today um so that's the blush what else do i need to tell you about oh here <laughs> another thing that i've been using every single day since kyla bought me this if you saw we did a box swap and um she swears by the morph setting sprays this is this is a special edition one though this one is peach sweet peach it's called it actually is called sweet <laughs> s-a <laughs> S-A-W-E-E-T. Sweet. Uh, and it's really, really nice. It fixes the makeup really well. My only thing is with this, it's really wet. Like, it takes a long time to dry. And there's been a couple of times where I've sprayed it. Oh, hang on. I'm in my blinds. Don't move. Don't move. I mean, the breeze is lovely, but I don't want my phone to fall out the window. Um, yeah, there's been a couple of times where I've used this, sprayed it, I mean, like I say, it's really good. It sets your makeup perfectly. <laughs> but I've used it and it's been that wet and I've blinked. And I, like my mascara has just like gone underneath my eyes. So that's the only thing. You'd really have to wait for it to dry. But after that, it's really good. So I use that every single day. <sighs> what else? I feel like we're going through the list really quickly. Okay, next favourite. Awkward Peach. So I dyed my hair this Bleach London Awkward Peach um, two weeks ago now. Uh, it, it lasted like three washes, maybe not even three washes. I washed my hair 
Well, I've been trying to wash my hair, not every single day. I've been doing it every other day. Um, so this lasted like a, half a week, maybe. Um, but it was good for just a little bit of a change. I just fancied doing something different before I went back to the hairdressers and got my roots done. I've used this before uh, about six years ago now. And um, it didn't work because my hair was a lot darker. But on the blonder hair, it's a really, really lovely colour. I feel like if I'm going to do it again, like I have got, I've shown this before, I have got the rose one to do. So I'm going to do this one probably in about three weeks time before I go back and get my roots done again. But I don't know whether to get another bottle because I feel like if I had more of it, I think it would go a lot further and be a bit more vibrant. I don't know, has anybody else used the Bleach London and felt, felt like that they needed to use more than one bottle if they've got longer hair? Let me know. Um, but yeah, it's vegan and cruelty free. It says uh, it's a semi-permanent hair colour cream. It was really easy to apply. Um, and yeah, and that's like, there we go. It says there what colour it should turn to. Now this was more, when I put it, it was more very pink. I was worried that I was going to look like a fruit salad when I put this on because the my gloves were pink, but my hair was peach. So there's obviously there's pink undertones in this, um, but it was a really, really nice colour um, that it turned out. So I'm really happy with that. And so watch this space because I will be dyeing it rose. Um, let me just catch up on some comments before we go any further. Uh <laughs> uh, even auntie lucy has listened to you love you darling love you too auntie lucy everyone say hi to my auntie lucy <laughs> um james do you have a certain product for exfoliating that you get on really well with not really no um i'm terrible at skincare i need to get into more skincare really uh, I use a sponge, one of those rough sponges and soap or shower gel or something. I'm not, yeah, I don't have a particular product. The ones that have got like the grains in are good, aren't they? They're supposed to be good. But again, I don't know. If anybody can recommend James anything in the comments, then let him know. Uh... Oh, Liz, hi. And I hope you and Chris had a nice time with Chris's family over the weekend. Yeah, we went to Wales last weekend and it was really nice i've done it i did it again didn't i wales i can never just say wales i always sound welsh when i say it <laughs> um yeah it was lovely got to see chris's dad and his sister brother-in-law our niece uh we went to saundersfoot it rained constantly while we were there but we still went to the beach and we went um what did we do we did, went shell, shell shell picking with my niece and looking for crabs and things. It was just really nice to spend some time with them because we haven't seen them since, God, I think it was like January, Chris's dad came down. Yeah, it was either January or February, a long time. Uh, let's have a little look. Ah, oh, loads of people are saying, um, hi, Auntie Lucy to you. <laughs> I don't know if she's still watching. Oh, she, is she watching? Yes. <laughs> Okay, what's next on my... Right, I've got one more thing on my beauty list. And I mentioned these last time, didn't I? I'm almost sure I mentioned these last time. But I'm going to mention them again because I love them. They are Primark specials. Primark £1 special stick-on nails. <laughs> so I redid them last night. Um... And I get the, the short square cut ones. And I really, really like them. These are just for the interim. I'm actually getting my nails done on Saturday. I know, I know. Um, but I've got another packet left to use, which I will probably put on maybe midweek. Um, I'll go red until Wednesday and then we'll do Wednesday to Saturday with these, I think. Or maybe I'll save them. I don't know. They're really nice. So if you saw my Primark... Hall. these are the tortoiseshell ones they've got like a gold strip in them again they're the short square ones uh these ones are one pound fifty but um i really really swear by the primark well the last packet i had were a bit like they started scuffing i had the french tip ones 
and the colour wore, like the white tip wore off them really, really quickly. So I bit them off. I know, I know, you shouldn't, but I did because I just got annoyed with them. But I feel like the solid block colour ones last a lot longer. So we've got these ones on for now and then I've got these ones to put on next. But yeah, I love them. Absolutely love Primark nails. Swear by them for a pound, one pound fifty. You just can't go wrong, can you? Um, okay. Oh, that's it for beauty. Um, right, what are we going to talk about next for favourites? I'm just kind of mindful of the time, really. Been online for, okay, just over 15 minutes. Right, the next thing we'll talk about is clothing. I mean, if you follow my Instagram, I think there's a a very, like, a, what's the word I'm looking for? I was going to say concurrent. That's not the right word. There's an, a reoccurring, that's the word, a reoccurring theme as to what I'm wearing lately. And I just feel like I'm shopping, at, I'm online shopping at this place a lot. And it is H&M, or as Kyla would say, H&M. How do you say it? Do you say it? H&M or H&M? I'm one of the people that say H. <laughs> um, yeah, but H&M is like my shop now. I feel like I won't shop anywhere else. Well, I will. Like ASOS is still another love of mine. I've bought a lot of... Obviously, I've been trying to sort of refrain from buying a lot of clothes. I don't need any really, but I've wanted a lot of sort of throw-on things especially like working from home I don't want to sit in my pajamas or in joggy bottoms I mean I do sometimes don't get me wrong you know that's life it's it's real life sometimes I've got joggy bottoms on and a t-shirt but I do every so often I want to throw something on that's nice that's pretty especially if I've got a zoom call if I have a zoom call with work then you know this half needs to be presentable <laughs> um so I've wanted some like nice throw on things um just like easy to wear and H&M do really lovely dresses at the moment, like smock type ones. Um, these ones are A-line ones. Um, I just, I posted a picture on my Instagram today of this one. I didn't do a full length one, actually. I'll post a full length one later. Um, but actually, I'll, I'll show you here because I've got the other one. This dress comes in four different varieties. I was going to say flavours then. Four different flavours. Um, and I have got three of them. <laughs> Um, so they do this one here, which is like, it's like a 70s, 60s, 70s style floral print. I like the V-neck here. I like the sleeves. They're all like stretchy sleeves, just like really flowy over leggings and things. I felt very like boho today. I feel like all I needed was a flower crown. Um, and then I've got this one. Um, but here's a story. I absolutely love this one. Like it's like lavender what flowers are these i don't even really know what flowers they are purple flowers it's like very botanical print i suppose uh the coloring is gorgeous but i ordered this one this is the first one that i ordered and this is an xl and this is too big but by the <laughs> i'd already worn it <laughs> and i thought i can't return it i've worn it now because i was just so eager to wear it and i thought well i'll still keep it and then i'll see if i can order the large and this can just be uh, you know, just in case, just in case one rips or something, I've got a spare. So, um, yeah, so I've got this one. This is the XL one. And I went to order the, the large. The blimmin' sold out. So I was like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, but then I saw this one and a black one. So I've, oh, I ordered these ones. The black one hasn't turned up yet. I'm waiting for the black one to turn up. I think it's turning up Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I've got this one and then I thought oh, I'll go back online and I'll see because you never know They might have some stock back and lo and behold They had some stock and I snapped up the large in this and also as I was looking I noticed I was on the H&M website with this, you know, they do like a styled by H&M section where they just see people dressed up in their clothes and they put it on the website. So I'm on there I'm on the H&M website wearing this dress um but yeah absolutely love them these are 17.99 and i love them i can't wait for the black one to turn up and the large as well but like i say they're very giving and um they're giving and forgiving as well and i also bought i've been very naughty <laughs> um but these are like 
I, I kind of want to say these are staples in my wardrobe. I've also bought an animal print um, square neck. You would have seen it in the vlog that I posted. Uh, I think it went up on Monday. Um, an animal print square long maxi dress. I love it. I can't wait to wear that. I haven't worn it yet. I think I'm going to wear it. Um, I think we're going to go out for dinner on my birthday. I'm going to wear it then. So yeah, that's just like another timeless piece. And again, it was, you know, we're talking like 17 99 for these really lovely dresses. So yes, love, love, love H&M. I'm seeing a lot of talk about H&M. Hang on a second. Let's catch up on some comments. Um, oh, Karen, hi from a very hot Northern California. Loving your hair. Thank you. Um, H&M dresses are amazing at the moment. I bought three dresses last week. See, it's so easy done, isn't it? It's so easy. Um, struggling for clothes at the moment, such as winter dresses. These I feel I can wear in winter as well. Like they're, they're, a, what, I don't know what fabric they are. I don't know why I'm trying to look at Let me just look at this one and see what fabric it is. If it says, like, they're not linen. They're like a cotton material, but hang on. Um, oh, okay. 82% 80, viscose and 18% poly polyamide. Never heard of that one. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard to describe. It's like a cotton linen. I don't know. Is that... Oh, we're going a bit ASMR here, aren't we? But um, yeah, it's like a, I don't know, it's, it's a thinnish material. So it's lovely for the summer. Um, but also, I feel like I can style this up um, in the wintertime as well. If you put like a vest top underneath it and a cardigan and some boots, I feel that, and a belt, if you belt it, I feel it'll look really nice in the winter as well. Versatile, that's what I'm thinking. Um... I'll just have a drink. I feel like I've been well. I've been talking constantly for like twenty minutes. <laughs> These bottles are really good from IKEA. Really, really good. Uh, Liz, I'm going to look at H and M. Um, see, you've had a lot of lovely stuff from them. Yeah, and I feel like I'll. Well, I'm going to try and not buy any more clothes, but you know, famous last words. <laughs> I kind of feel like I look on their website daily. Uh, James, thank you for the Bargain Corner song. No problem. I'm glad you enjoyed. <laughs> That's in my Ikea video. Every time we go to Ikea, we go to Bargain Corner. Bargain Corner. Uh, honestly, their dresses at the moment are so nice and generous. Yes. Um, also thought that H&M only go to a size 18. Do they do larger sizes now? I'm a 22. Well, these dresses, this is a large, I am a size 20, I'm a 20 on the top, on the bottom, 22, um, I'm larger on the tummy and my bum, um, and these fit me perfect, like I said, I had to size down, so I would say an extra large would fit a size 24, maybe 26, um, they're very, very, very generous, these A-line dresses, so um, go and check them out. And all of like the smock dresses that they do, yeah, they're definitely worth a try. I was, I didn't ever think that I could fit in H and M clothing, but I did uh, style at any size with Kyla last. Was it last year? It might have been the beginning of this year. I can't even. It was February. It feels like last year. So I did one in February when we went to Birmingham, and oh god, yeah, because I just remembered now we went to the big H and M in Birmingham and the homeware. <gasps> I'm going to have to go back there. Anyway, um, so yeah, we did a style any size at that H&M. And the amount of dresses that I could actually fit into, I was shocked. So yeah, go and give them a try. Honestly, honestly. Uh, even the t-shirts and things. Absolutely fine. Um, and my mum has shopped at H&M for years for like basic stuff. And she's bought some really nice coats from there as well. And even she's like going, oh, shopping in my shop now, are you? I'm like, well, yeah, I didn't think I, think I could fit in anything, but now I can. Um, okay. All right, let's have a little look. Okay, right. 
let's crack on with the rest of the list. Not that there's loads on there. It was mainly beauty stuff, to be honest. But uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is TV. Well, I haven't really watched a lot of TV, I'll be honest. I, I've watched the soaps as and when they've been on. Um, but Netflix, I've watched two. Well, I've watched one thing on Netflix three times because <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. And then uh, there's something that I've started watching. Um, okay, so the first thing is the, a film that I've watched three times on Netflix in the past two weeks. And that is the Eurovision movie, The Story of Fire Saga. Has anybody seen this? What did you think? You, I think you're either going to love it or hate it. I feel like you're either going to really, really love it because you love Eurovision. And I really like Eurovision and I've really missed that it hasn't been on this year. And so this is like giving me my Eurovision fix. Um, or you're either really going to hate it and think it's cheesy AF. But it, I loved it. It's got Will Ferrell in it. Love Will Ferrell anyway. Uh, it's got Rachel, um, Rachel McAdams. Is that her name? Yeah. Um, she's really good in it. And basically they're from, uh, is it Iceland? Are they from Iceland? I think so. And, um, I should know. I've seen it three times. And they just, they just want to be in the Eurovision Song Contest. It's such a good film. Um, oh, I've just seen a comment. Love Eurovision. Uh, Natasha loved it. Natalie loved the movie. I've seen it twice in two weeks. Yes, Bows and Bridges. The movie was great. Love Eurovision, but hated the film. Oh, okay. Love the Eurovision. A feel good and funny film. I found it cheesy, but good cheesy. Yes. I, my favourite bits, I think, are, um, well, I just, I love all the songs from there, but I think my favourite bit is the bit in the middle with the montage, when all of, well, I don't want to ruin it. If you want to see it, mm. <laughs> there's a montage, because everybody loves a montage. So, um, yeah <laughs> i feel like i was just gonna go blah 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 blah, and i feel like people probably haven't seen it yet i've just seen another comment yeah yeah ding ding dong yeah yeah ding dong yes we went to our friend's house for dinner the other night and um we were saying about it, it was like as you know when you talk you say have you seen anything good on netflix oh i literally sold this film i could have been working on commission and she texted me last night to say that she was watching it <laughs> and she loved it so i was like Yay! And then she texted me to say that they were watching the Ya Ya Ding Dong song. So, unless you've watched it, that's not going to make any sense. But, um, yeah, watch it. Definitely watch it. Uh, and then the other thing on my list for, like, Netflix is I've started to watch, I think I've watched, like, the first half an hour of the Zac Efron Down to Earth show. Is it a series or is it... um? like a one-off because like I say I'm only like half an hour in and I didn't notice if it was a series or if it was just a one-off but at the moment they're in Iceland there's a theme here um they're in Iceland and it's just really really interesting I find it really interesting how they're like especially when they went to the plant and they're doing all of the energy stuff it was just yeah really fascinating um so I mean I'll reserve my judgment for that show at the moment because like I said I watched half an hour but let me know if you've seen it and if it is worth me watching the rest of it. Um, and then another one on my list that I want to watch for next month um, is Unsolved Mysteries. That looks really, really good. And I like all that kind of thing. So we will um, we will see. I'll try to I'll try to watch that this month. We'll see. Um, and then, right, we've got one more thing left on my list and then we're done. It's been quite quick, actually um music um no i haven't i've got some other things to show you i lied this is the list and then i've got other things um so music i have been playing the eurovision <laughs> music from the eurovision film non-stop so that's a given and then i feel like this will be for next month because you know it was only dropped this weekend but i feel like i know the album inside out already and all the lyrics to every single song um and it is folklore taylor swift folklore who has listened to the album on repeat this weekend because i have um but that you know that will probably trickle into next month because like i will probably have that still on repeat 
this time next month. Um, but yeah, that's my list. Um, and then I've got a couple of other favourable mentions. Um, I've got a piece of jewellery that I purchased from um, my lovely friend Laura um, on Instagram. She makes resin jewellery. Look how pretty this is. Um, so her little Instagram shop, well, no, it's, it's an Etsy shop, but she's got an Instagram page. And it's called um, Secret Life of Perks. And um, she makes lovely little resin necklaces. She does key rings. Isn't that in focus? Can you even see that? Let me just get my fat head out of the way <laughs> so you can actually focus on this. Um, yeah, so she does... Uh, like key rings, coasters, bookmarks, um, what else is on there? Little trinket dishes. Uh, it's really lovely made. Um, they come on long chains as well, which I really like. I don't like anything short, like choker style, but it's just so pretty. So I opted for like a blue and white one, but she also does a pink one, which I'm going to get as well. And these are like £7, £7, something like that. And... Um, I just wanted to give her a little mention because I like mentioning little independent stores and um, I just think it's so beautiful. So clever what you can do with resin, isn't it? So, so clever. It's just so pretty. I've been wearing that quite a bit. Um, and then another mention is my lovely friend Lisa. I don't know if she's around. Usually she's around on these lives. Um, but she's got uh, a little store on Etsy and she's also on Instagram and it's Lily's Boutique. And um, she very kindly sent me, Mum and Chris, some face masks. So I've been using this one loads. These are, they're too thick, I think. Are they too thickness? Um, it's like this winter floral. Absolutely love it. It's so pretty. Um, but then she spoiled me. So these are, these are gifted, by the way. Hashtag gifted. Um, but so, so nice of her. So sweet of her to send me these other ones. Um, because we're going to go back to Disney at the end of the year. Um, I've got some Disney ones. So she does Disney masks, if you're interested. So we've got a Disney villains mask. Look at that it's got ursula on there and the queen the wicked queen cruella de vil oh that was me <laughs> a couple of weeks ago with my roots uh i've got a little pink baby pink mini mouse one how cute is that we've got two um snow white and the seven dwarfs ones so me and chris will probably wear those on the same day and match uh and then we've got a really cute um Mickey, is it Mickey and Minnie? Yeah, Mickey and Minnie. I love this one. How sweet is this? It's so cute. So thank you so much, Lisa, for sending me these masks. They are, I'm going to put them away and take them, take them to Disney. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, definitely go and check out her store. She's got all different designs of face masks. They're really comfortable. They come on the really um stretchy string and also i mean i showed it in my vlog you know like if you use a hair grip to grip up the string if you don't like them like behind your ears and stuff if they um irritate you and stuff but um yeah love them so i wanted to mention those in my favorites this month so yeah um okay that is it that is it let me just catch up on some of your comments um Oh, Becky, it's a series. Oh, so the Zac Efron thing is a series. Uh, it's very educational. Yeah, I get that vibe from it. Um, but good educational, like they do it in a good way. Umbrella Academy, I couldn't get into that. I tried, I tried, but I just, I couldn't. Um, are you still doing your baking? I haven't for a while. It's because I've been busy again. You know, now we can go out. I feel like it's just sort of fallen by the wayside. Uh, I bought the pink one from her. Oh, the necklace, Keely. Yeah, the pink one's beautiful, isn't it? Actually, the pink one would go really nice with this, with this top, wouldn't it? With this dress. Oh, I'm gonna have to have another look and see. Oh, she does um fridge magnets. I saw actually they do like glittery heart fridge magnets. She does like a pack of five. I think a pack of five is ten pounds, something like that. I thought they would be really nice as Christmas presents or stocking fillers. So I'm definitely gonna be purchasing some of those um oh kaylee i ordered from lily's boutique after seeing your face mask got mine yesterday so pretty oh good i'm glad that you like them i love them 
uh, what's the name of the Instagram for the jewellery, please? Uh, Secret Life of Perks. I will try to remember to leave the link below um, after this live. Like, after the live finishes, I, like, I leave it to process and then just leave it. So I will try to remember to go back in and leave the links to, to these places. Um, Bobby, great seeing your vlog at one of our local beaches in Swanage. Oh, do you live in Swanage, Bobby? Oh, Swanage is my favourite place ever. Me and Chris have said that we would like to retire to Swanage. Um... Last time I we went to Swanage was in June. We haven't been back since. And Curiosity, I can't say it. Curiosity wasn't open yet. Is it open now? Because if it is, I feel like we might need to pay it another trip. Pay it another trip? Did that even make sense? Pay it another visit. Because um, I love that shop. <laughs> I think you might be wearing more of these masks than Chris, Emma. Yeah, well, Chris has, <laughs> Chris has got his own mask. Chris has got the ones where, um, well, no, I tell a lie. He's, he's, we purchased another couple of masks, actually. They're um, downstairs. I forgot to bring them up. He's got an Avengers one, because, you know. Um, and then he's also purchased some ones off of Amazon that have got, like, the, you know, the circular bit that's supposed to, like, let more air in. I tried it on. It was horrible. It was blimmin'. I didn't feel like any air was getting through at all and then he's got the standard ones that um he's got for work you know like the blue and white ones um so he's got loads of those for work when he goes and does visits and things um but yeah i feel <laughs> these disney ones i mean i feel like i will probably be wearing my most of the disney ones to be honest um <laughs> but that's okay but that's okay um oh be a mrs dudley hello are you okay um, glad I finally caught one of your lives. I wanted to get a nice mask, so I ha will have to head over and have a look. Thank you. You're welcome. Go and check out being Mrs. Mrs. Dudley's um, YouTube. She's just hit 20,000 subscribers, so yay! Um, go and check out her page. She is lovely. She does loads of homeware stuff. So if you like homeware, if that's your jam, then um, definitely go and check out Juliet because she is amazing. Um... Can you leave the link to the mask too? Yes, of course I can. Of course I can. Um, right, okay. I think, where, where are we to? 37 minutes. Usually these lives last about 40 minutes or so. About 40, 45 minutes, something like that. I'm so impressed that my phone hasn't gone flinging out the window. I tell you, these blinds have flickered several times and I'm like... <gasps> um, but uh, I just needed the window open. It's so muggy. So muggy. Mm. I love Swanage. I was talking about that today. And Burley in the New Forest is lovely. I love Burley. Burley's great for picnics. Um, we always go for a picnic in Burley. Go and see the um, the horses, the ponies. And uh, have an ice cream. And they've got like witches shops there, haven't they? Mm. I do love Burley. We usually have a picnic opposite the you know, the big hotel i can't remember what the hotel's called actually you have to let me know i can't remember but there's a big hotel and we usually have a picnic opposite um actually one thing i did want to say um is i know this is a favorite <laughs> but i wanted to mention something that i was a bit disappointed with now I've, i mean i've got it on today actually i feel like it's leaked a little bit onto my Actually, no, that's probably me because I did cry earlier. Oh, my God, did I cry earlier? <laughs> uh, Chris decided to watch um, is it I Am Legend with Will Smith. And I wasn't watching it at all. I was busy faffing in the kitchen or doing whatever. And I come through and right at the bit, if you've seen I Am Legend, right at the bit, you know, when his dog gets infected. And, oh, my God, <laughs> I was literally like, oh. Chris is like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, but his dog was his best friend in the whole world. And now he's been infected. I was just a mess. That's probably why my makeup um, has <laughs> ran down my face. But oh my God, I cried buckets. That's one of that film. That film 
Uh, the Green Mile, I sob uncontrollably at the Green Mile. I can't, I just can't watch it. And also the notebook, you know, the, the ending of the notebook, I just, just can't control it. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> yes, something that I was disappointed in um, from my boots delivery that I had that I absolutely loved when I first got it. I was all like, yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. A few weeks in, I'm not really loving it that much. And the reason being, I don't know if you're going to see this online. Um, so what am I talking about? First of all, let's just, what am I talking about? So this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. So I wanted a new liner, an ink liner, uh, because I use the Kat Von D um, tattoo liner. I've used it for years. It's expensive. It's like £18. It lasts me a long time, but it's an expensive liner. And I wanted to try out some cheaper alternatives. And so I bought this one because it was £9. And then I bought the Soap and Glory one, which I've also tried using. I'm not really a fan of it because the nib is too big. Um, anyway, so I'm going to have to go back to my Kat Von D one. So I tried this one. It was £9. When I first got it, it was lovely. It was beautiful. It went on really nicely, really slick. Um, there wasn't any cracks. And I thought, oh, this is amazing. £9. I've saved myself. It's half price than what I'm usually used to. But then as the weeks have gone on, the nib, I don't think you're going to see this very clearly, but the nib, well, you're not going to see it. It started splitting I like it to be like a felt tip pen, but not split uh, because then it doesn't go on properly and it goes all over the place. So, I mean, I've got it on today, but I've tried my hardest to like keep keep it together. Um, but it's gone more like a brush now rather than a nib. And I was not impressed with that. Um, where's the other one actually? Let me just, I'll show you. So this is the Kat Von D. Well, <laughs> it's well used. Um, but it stayed, you're not going to, on the iPhone, you're not really going to see it very well, but it stays as a nib. It doesn't split. Um, where's the soap and glory one that I've been using? This one, the super cat one. I'm not a fan of this nib. It's quite fat <laughs> and I wanted it. I like a thin nib. Um, so yeah, I'm not really enjoying that one either. So it's been a bit of a fail on the older eyeliner front i am literally just going to have to go back to my tattoo cat von d tattoo liner i've got my travel one but they're all starting to run out so i'm like mm. i'm gonna have to spend 18 pound i'm gonna have to forgo buying another one of these dresses <laughs> and buy an eyeliner aren't i um so yeah i just thought i'd give that a mention like i say i know it's a favorites video but i wanted to just give you sort of my verdict on it really and but it was all right at the beginning. If it could have stayed like that the whole time, it would have been great. But no. Um, are you all talking about films that make you cry now? Let's have a look. Um, Green Mile cried like a baby. Mm -hmm. I can't even, t even when it's on, I'm like, turn it off. I can't, I can't deal with it. I just can't deal with it. Um, I can't watch Haichi the dog film cried for a week. What's that? Haichi? Oh, look, I, if it's a dog film, I can't, I can't. Anything to do with animals, I am just a wreck. I cry at Paul O'Grady for the love of dogs every single week. Even if it's a good story, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I remember um, we were watching, God, I can't remember. We were watching Super Vet. Oh, that's another one, Super Vet. He's so good, isn't he? But he can't save every animal. Um, cry buckets. We must have been watching Super Vet. And he was, he couldn't save these cats. And me and Mutt, we're more dog people in this house. But, you know, we still like cats. And we were watching it while we were having dinner. <laughs> so me and Mum were opposite each other. And Chris sits there. And we were just watching it. And me and Mum just both looked at each other and just burst into tears about these cats that he couldn't save. And Chris was just like, with his knife and fork, like, what the hell are these people? <laughs> I, I, animal things, I can't, I just can't. Um, oh, Lorraine cries like a baby at most films. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
Steel Magnolias. I haven't watched that for years. I haven't watched that for years. Um, Les Mis. Mm, Les Mis doesn't really make me cry. Shows make me cry. I miss the theatre. I miss the theatre so much. Just that that just that adrenaline when you're in there and the feeling that it gives you like being and watching a show is just you can't beat it really and i get so when a show starts when the music starts when you're watching a show i get so emotional sounds like a song doesn't it i get so emotional but i do i really do every time we go to the theater lion king that's another one cry like a baby at the film at the stage show and when it was on at Disneyland Paris, I sobbed when it came on during the parade thing. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Basically, I'm just a big crybaby. I think we've just established. <laughs> um, Mamma Mia 2. Oh, yes, James. Yes, I cried in the cinema at that. Um, see, our tape flicks liner is good. So is the body shop. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to try all these out. <laughs> Juliet's say, I did the same with anything with animals, so I never watch it. Well, I didn't intend to watch I Am Legend today. I just literally walked in at that moment and I was just... I didn't even watch the rest of the film. <laughs> it was literally just that bit. And I was like... Oh. Um, right. I am going to... I think I'm going to go... Uh, just see. Revolution eyeliner, thin nib, super black, and it's around eight pound. Okay, I will have to. Um, I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, <laughs> my auntie. You should sing as you've got a great voice. You would say that. You're biased. You are biased. <laughs> oh. I did used to be in a band, though, many years ago. Right. I'm going to say goodbye for um, this evening because the time has just whizzed by. It's like quarter to nine now. So it's been... Oh, God, I've been alive for nearly 50 minutes. Right. Um, okay. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, thank you to my Auntie Lucy for joining us as well. I'm going now, Auntie Lucy, so you can text me in a minute if you like. Um, oh, I've just seen Juliet. Did you used to be in a band? Did you? We should totally do a duet. Let's do it. Let's organise it. Message me. Right, I'm going now. Bye, everybody. I hope you have a good rest of the evening. Have a good week. It's a new week tomorrow. Can't believe it's Monday already. It's gone quickly, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I will see you guys very soon. There's a new video out tomorrow, by the way, if you're interested. I mean, you don't have to watch, but if you want to, it's there. <laughs> it's about my hair. So I will see you guys then. 